AKA Patters, welcome back for some of that nine o'clock heat. Oh, this this one hits me right home. We're gonna get right into it by AKA Patters. Before we do, subscribe, support, leave a comment, do a couple kung fu moves. You guys remember Parlor? So 2020 happens. The election, blah 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 blah. And guys, 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 I hate even saying the word election. While being on uh, a comic book channel, right? We do comics, we do pop culture here. 2020 election happens. Huge migration. I'm talking real numbers. Fill up parlor. People are done with Twitter. It was called Twitter at the time. They go to parlor and Apple, the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, right? They collude and they boom. No more parlor. Parlor is not available. Not on the phones. Not anywhere. Uh, it's beyond me that parlor didn't have. It's just it, it's. They claimed uh, data loss and, and all these things. And just from on a tech level, and you guys know I work in tech. Uh, just on a tech level, it's weird what happened with parlor because you think there would be redundancy on some level. So 2024 happens, and a chunk of the comic book industry now is running to Blue Sky. And Blue Sky is not going to work. Blue Sky is not going to become the next Twitter, not the next X, not the next anything. Blue Sky is just this protest. It's just a reservoir of the people that are... Yeah, upset. Maybe they're they're taking the election a little bit too much to heart. What does all of this have to do with comic books? Well, when we have some of the minds of the comic book industry being reactive, and we saw it in 2020 with Parlor, and we're seeing it in 2020, uh, 2024 with Blue Sky, these are the minds that run the industry. And we <laughs> when we see them being emotionally emotional and reactive and basically acting like children and on on some level protesting i don't know how moving social media networks is a protest because you don't know who's behind blue sky like you know who's behind x you don't know who's behind blue sky it's Overall bad for the industry. See, even, let's just say the industry is split in ideologies and beliefs. We still want a town hall discussion. We want the journalists of both sides. We want the influencers of both sides. And more, uh, more importantly, we want the talent of both sides in the town hall. And that can only happen on X. I'm hoping... <laughs> that a lot of individuals create a Blue Sky account and take that conversation to them. Uh, creating your own echo chamber can only mean disaster. Parlor was a failure, I believe, more on a tech redundancy level. And we didn't get to see what may have happened. Because we didn't get to, you know, they didn't allow Parlor. I mean, what happened to Kanye West? I thought Kanye West was buying Parlor. So, Blue Sky, uh, yeah, do I want it to fail this and that? No, no. I just don't like seeing these individuals that should be focused on creating comic books, rebuilding the industry, and getting that next best great American comic book out the door and into people's hands. I don't like to see anyone be so petty that they think leaving a social media network is somehow going to lead to better days and better comics. Guys, what do you think? Let's go.